The lunar eclipse last night was very powerful. I managed to get a couple pictures. I hope you enjoy them. It made me think a lot about the scriptures, and I hope it makes you think. What it made me think about was the reality of God and his awesomeness and how he can do anything. He can even change the course of natural events. We haven't seen something like this happen in a long time. Now, recently, there's been uh, three prior to this one. But before that, it was about 47 years ago our last lunar eclipse occurred. This, to me, points to the reality of God, his awesomeness, to see the moon looking like a blood moon, as they call it, and what that really means. Well, the scriptures tell us that nature has an important role, and that is to show us, to make it plain to us that God is real, that God is behind all of this, and, and that we know that deep within ourselves. And basically, it takes a lot of hard work to talk yourself out of it and to suppress yourself from these truths. And God keeps speaking to us through nature, even if you've never even read the Bible before. So, well, you ask a child. A child naturally knows there's God. They have to literally be brainwashed otherwise to believe anything different. And this is a deep concern. In the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 19 onward. I'm going to read some to you. And God makes some things pretty clear here about his feelings, about nature and what, what nature should be doing. It says here in verse 19 of Romans 1, For that which is known about God is evident to them and made plain in their inner consciousness, because God himself has shown it to them. For ever since the creation of the world, his invisible nature and attributes, that is, his, his eternal power and divinity, have been made intelligible and clearly discernible in and through the things that have been made, his handiworks. So men are without excuse, altogether, without any defense or justification. Because when they knew and recognized him as God, they did not honor and glorify him as God or give him thanks, but instead they became futile and godless in their thinking, with vain imaginings, foolish reasoning, and stupid speculations, and their senseless minds were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools. Professing to be smart, they made simpletons of themselves. God is trying to get all of our attention to say, get back to what you know, and that he's real, and to realize his power and his ability to take a moon that we look at every day and turn it red once in a long while. And so we don't understand it all. We're not supposed to understand how it happens, why it happens. But we do know that it points to God, who knows exactly why it happens. I believe firmly that the scriptures right here are telling us to be aware of God and to get back to what you know is true and what is right. And forget about all the, the brainwashing and the ideologies that come from man that try to suppress the truth. Because you know what? Some of us ended up ruining our lives because we decided that there can't be a God, because we tried to figure it out in our own minds and our own reason and our own logic, and it's just not possible. And yet a child can look in nature and make it so simply known that God exists. Of course God created that. I was recently uh, on, a, on a beautiful slope on a mountain, and I was overhearing a mother talked to her child as they were walking the trails. They were ahead of us. And the, and the child asked questions about nature. And the mother said to this five-year-old child, that's because God created it that way. And she just simply received it like it was natural. And that's the way it's always been for all of us. So we have to actually get back to what we know is true, that God is awesome. We don't understand him fully. He can change the natural course of events. He is reliable. He keeps this universe sustained. Did you know if this planet was even a, a fraction of an inch closer to the sun, it would be engulfed in flames. But every day he's faithful and makes no error to ensure that this planet does not dissolve in fire. He's a God that you can rely on, you can count on in your life. He's a God that is saying, I'm here. I'm here for you. And he's most known and manifested through the person of Jesus Christ. 
And I pray you come to know him through Jesus today and learn more about Christ. And I hope you can enjoy this picture and let it be a reminder of the awesomeness of God and what he can do and what he can do for your life. If he can turn that moon red, he can turn your situation around. Maybe there's a situation that in the natural course of events seems like it's never going to change. God can change that. With God, all things are possible. As it says in the Word of God that nothing is impossible with God. So I encourage you today to believe in what you know is right and what is true, that God is real and He cares and loves you more than anything in this universe.